My name is Amber Petty. I'm the Senior Manager of National Programs for Everyone On. So I think as, as I travel around the United States, I see a trend of people understand that the internet is the way of the future. They understand that it's an information superhighway, it's important and integral to our daily lives. But I think there's a distinction to be made between things and people. So things are moving online at a much faster rate than people. Um, and if we could just tie those curves together to say, as I move this housing process online, as I move this healthcare online, I gotta make sure that I'm moving the people I serve online with it. Um, most people don't know the most digitally divide people, divided people aren't in rural America. They're actually in urban centers and affordability is their, is their barrier. So just making sure that people are aware, once they're aware, understanding how it's a return on investment for everyone to be online. Uh, you know, a society thrives when everybody thrives. Um, so if more people are online, if more people are participating in the digital society, not only is our economy stronger, but we have more civic engagement. So people talk about how people don't come to town halls. If they knew about it, I have a Twitter account. I follow someone's newsletter. That's how I know about it. But my grandmother doesn't know. My neighbors don't know. I have to knock on their doors and tell them because they're not connected. There's a, uh, I mentioned the approach is different in every community because it has to work for you. But I think there are some standouts. So Charlotte actually is one of those standouts. I think having a nonprofit like Digital Charlotte, it's really a blessing. Not everybody has that. Not everybody even has a partner who focuses solely on this. And it's even harder when you don't. Um, but I think about New York. Um, I know Mayor de Blasio has a 10-year plan, and in that includes digital inclusion and building out Wi-Fi infrastructure within New York. Um, because you would think New York City, of course, they have connectivity. There actually aren't a lot of options for folks in New York City. There aren't. And, and he recognizes that and wants to help the city to build out that resource where they're lacking. Um, I think about Portland, Oregon, who's trying to do that in the Pacific Northwest. Um, they just held their first digital inclusion summit as well, um, just for their city to talk about how are we going to do this work. Um, also at Louisville, Kentucky, um, who's really not only is the city behind digital inclusion, but have engaged their local businesses to say, we know that you guys need um, a qualified workforce. Let's build Code Louisville. Let's build out on our Urban League. And let's make sure that we're sending, ex not only are we sending our residents to you, we're going to make a specific class for public housing residents. We're going to make a specific track for public housing residents to make sure that we're getting them in the door.